Hey guys, it's Jamie again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a mini bow bracelet. And this was not my original design. This was from a Instagrammer, and I'm just going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Oh, this by the way, this is the first tutorial I'm doing on my new rainbow loom. As you can tell, it's a different color. Um, gee. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to need any type of loom. You're going to need bands today. I'm going to be using rainbow and black. So the bows are going to be rainbow and the outside would be black. And you're going to need a clip. I'm going to use a C clip. And alright, I usually use um, S clips. But today I want to use a C clip. And you're going to also need a hook. Yes, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you should probably know I got a new hook grip. And my Instagram is asiangirl underscore bracelets. And I have another Instagram, which is jamie underscore k. J-A-Y-M-E-E -E underscore K-A-Y. Well, they're, it's going to be all down below. So let's get started. So I'm going to take my outside color and it's going to be black. You want your arrow to be facing away from you so you can see that. And you from for the first peg, oh, let me put the hook down first, out to the left peg. And then now you just want to go up your loom for the whole loom. Ugh. Up the hole until you reach the end. And then at the very end, you want, as you can see, you want to go in here. So it's like that. And then go back to the arrow and do it on the other side. Just go out one, and then go up the whole loom. And then you wanna that last one you wanna go inside. So it looks like that. So now let's start making the bows. So you wanna push your bands down. Okay, so when you're starting on your bows, if you haven't caught caught up, please pause the video. But I'm just gonna start. You don't want to put the bow here or else it'll get all squished. So I'm starting, starting on this second parallel peg, so right here. I'm going to take four of a color, or four bands, and then one extra band. So every bow you need five, five bands. So I'm going to place color right here. And these two pegs. It doesn't matter if there isn't a peg here, a band here, just put it right here. And you place four other bands on it and place it on these two parallel pegs. So it should look like this now. So let's. So you want to keep on doing that with all your colors. So if you like. You want to go to the next pegs, or you want to skip a peg, and then go to this peg. You have to skip a peg, or else it won't work. And then now you want to go to your next color, and I will be back very soon. Oh, well, let me show you one more time. So you place one band. Skip a peg, place one band on, oh, place one band on, and place four other bands parallel like that. So I will be back with my loom all done. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I am done now, and this is what it should look like. 
and now you want to turn your loom around so the arrow is facing towards you. So you want to take this band and hook it forward, grab this bottom band, loop it up, and just let go. Now you want to grab this band you just looped, pull it tightly, and place it on these two pegs. Oop. Oh, okay. So that loose. Okay, let me show you again. And the next bow, grab this and loop it forward. Grab the bottom one and loop it on top and let go. Grab that band again and pull tightly and place that band on place that band you just pulled on these two pegs. Again, Oops. maybe you need two fingers. Oh, my camera. Oops. Maybe you need two fingers to do this. Okay, so we are now done, and then you want to go back to the place you started and place a cap band. So make a figure eight and loop it upon itself and place it on the end of the band. Okay, so now you want to pull the cap band back, grab this first band, and loop it to the side. Pull the cap band back one more time and loop it. Oh, I can't see that. Oh. And loop this band to the side. Now you just want to go all the way up the loom and be careful because these bands might snap because there's a lot of tension in the movies. So I would just like release the tension. So just go up the loom. In a single chain. And you want to go really slow if you don't um, want your bands to break. Because you want to go really slow. Okay. So I will be back in once I finish this because I usually go really fast. But I have to go slow today so I'll be back. Okay, so I am done with one side, and then at the end you just want to loop this very last band towards the middle. And then go back to the cap band and loop that single chain on the right side. And I might not skip this part because I don't feel like skipping this part. <laughs> And if you need to re look at the rewatch the instructions for the bows, please do or pause the video to catch up. And at the very end, you just grab that band and loop it in the middle. Now your loom should look like this. So now you want to make an extension. Stick your hook through this, all these bands at the end, and put this band on. Now I have an extension video. If you have not seen my videos before, I will say I have an extension video. And please, and now you just want to pull it off the loom gently. Now I have extension video and if you do know how to do an extension, please do an extension if it won't fit your wrists, but if you don't know how to do an extension, 
please go check out my ex extension video, which is in my ch on my channel. And now you just want to take it off the loom carefully, carefully. It's taking forever. It usually takes. Oh, it's not in focus. Okay. okay. This is what it should. Oh, this is the back. Okay, this is what it should look like at the end. And this is called the mini bow bracelet. So, can you see that? Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, and comment. Ooh, gosh. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and they will be listed in the description box. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye!